What's up, animal fans? This is Alex Lexis, uh, giving you a mini short uh, on uh, some comments that I wanted to make on Street Fighter Cross Tekken. This is just an initial video because the next time we do this, <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna have the rest of the animal cast together. We meet Anomaly Project Justice on your knees and uh, beat down if he's able to fly out to the East Coast to uh, hook up with us. But I basically wanted to touch on a couple of things that I've seen through the videos, Event Hub, Shoyukin.com, and what have you. And a couple of things um, I'm happy about and other things I'm somewhat concerned with. But the things I am happy about, Jin Kazama is going to be in the game. Excellent stuff. Uh, you have Sayu. I used to use her because I played Tekken, but not as dedicated. Uh, I didn't put as much dedication into that series as I did with the Street Fighter and the Versus series. But um, considering how Marvel vs. Capcom 3 or Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 failed to meet my expectations, you know, this will kind of be like my suitable replacement. However, uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Uh, Maximilian uh, did make a couple points that I'm going to touch on where, for example, take a couple of games from the past. You have Marvel vs. Capcom. What was its niche? The first first time you have Versus series, tagging, switching out. That was its main thing. Then you come into, you know, the Alpha series where you have Alpha counters and, you know, your three level supers, things of that nature. Uh, next you come into Street Fighter 3 Third Strike and its major key was the parrying system. Now, the, the concern for Street Fighter Cross Tech and they're trying to introduce too many systems or too many things in one game. And my point being, first you have Pandora, which is that desperation, sacrifice your, uh, your teammate for a uh, 8 second boost in, in damage and infinite supers to me I don't think it's worth it considering how I saw in the videos unless you really gotta pull that sucker out like if it's a close match then it might turn the tides a little bit but I don't see any real use for the Pandora system and I don't know it's just my opinion but I haven't gotten to play it yet Shinwar and um, Project Justice got to do that uh, when they went to Comic Con last year in my absence. So I, I, I'm still, you know, they still have to hard sell the Pandora mode for me because even though the story is somewhat tied around it, hopefully it's not too late to make a change because I, I just see it as a, a non essential part of the game. Next. On top of the Pandora system, you have the gem system, which is another complication in itself, which is not a bad thing. However, you know, now it's, you know, you could kind of bounce it off of uh, the card system for Ultimate vs. Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and that's a lot of fun. However, on the tournament scene, how is that going to work? Will they, will, you know, will Seth Killian and Ono-san you know, take that into consideration, knowing full well that that some people will find things jacked up with it, broken with it. So, for me, I think it, it's more of a fun function, similar to the card system for Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Leave that for like a home setting type thing, even though we don't, uh, we're not gonna get an arcade version of Street Fighter Cross Tekken that we know of right now, but. For competitive play, that's something where I don't know if that was the best idea for evil type uh, environments, but that remains to be seen. And the tag system, of course, in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, you know, uh, for those of you who don't know, on, on the Tekken side, you have Tekken Tag Tournament, and the, the tagging system is reminiscent of how that, that system ran. And, you know, another thing. You know, it kind of looks a lot like Rage of the Dragons, which is a double dragon spinoff for fans who uh, don't know too much about the, that. Like with the running in and out tag system, that's pretty smart. It's more realistic as opposed to like a superhero Marvel vs. Capcom thing where they're jumping and throwing a kick in and what have you. So there you have it. You have tagging, you have the gem system, and Pandora. What would... What's the system that's going to set Street Fighter Cross Tekken 
Oh, what's it gonna be the dis distinct system in Street Fighter uh, Cross Tekken? They they're throwing too many things in there, and it's just hmm, you know, that's uh. I don't want it to be one of those games that that just came and passed, but considering the cast and the direction of the story, Street Fighter Cross Tekken is gonna be around for a minute, and it's and it's good news to know that uh, they won't be releasing any disc upgrades. But I. If you follow Capcom's track record, I bet you there'll be some sort of download for Super Street Fighter Cross Tekken uh, 2013 edition or something. I, 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 you know what? I'm going to put money on it. I'm going to put money on it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, my, my main concern, too many systems. It's like they're trying to make a big stew. And even though the, the with the gem system, I understand that they're trying to make it accessible to more casual players and it, it more like training wheels I get that but as long as it's somewhat contained so that it's not uh, something that's going to be abused online I hope there's like a filtering system so you don't have to deal with these people like with the Street Fighter or CVS 2 EO nonsense that uh, me and Anomaly ran into and Shinwa is just nah, nah. but uh, again for Street Fighter Cross Tekken this is just an initial um, breakdown or, or just animal thoughts because later on when we come with the full cast, uh, hopefully, you know, I know Project Justice has become a lot, uh, he's developed with his insight in breaking down the game's mechanics. So I, I definitely want him involved in uh, our next discussion. However, now moving on to cast. Now, we know Law is official. Paul, thank God he's official. It wouldn't be a Tekken uh, Cross Street Fighter or vice versa without him in it because he was a Gen 1 character since the beginning. So, it makes sense. Uh, also, you know, you have Sayu, you have Jin. <laughs> they better have put him in it. Bison, is good to see that uh, he's in there. Uh, Jury. I, I'm wondering why Jury got put into the game. But considering the her 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 look her apparel she would fit she's gonna fit in just great with uh, with this style of game and then and the overall look with the Tekken character so she's gonna mesh together pretty well but a um, couple of things with Law okay obviously Law is using Fei Long's model okay it looks great it looks I, I'm very happy to see this but where's Fei Long? We need that dream match. <laughs> I mean, considering that, uh, you know, Maximilian, I'm sure Free One Up, uh, Michael Hurdle, Nelson Rios, a couple other guys who are uh, enthusiasts. And, you know, if I forgot anyone, I'm sorry. But uh, you can't, it, to me, it, it's almost like a cardinal sin. You got Law in there looking like Fei Long. Don't tease us. Please put this guy in there. I would like to see uh, Kung Fu versus Kung Fu. Who's a real Bruce Lee uh, look-alike or imitator or what have you? So, Capcom, hopefully this doesn't fall on deaf ears. Uh, I would definitely like to see that. Um, rumors. It's obvious, and you know how Ono-san works, where he likes to tease and troll and what have you. It's almost... If, if you saw anything with Akuma's glove or the, the rope belt... Uh, or, or the roping garment around his hands and the spear with Ogre. It's almost, you can pretty much say it's a safe bet that they're going to make it in the game. So that's going to be interesting because that also leads me into um, looking at what type of bosses are they going to have. Is it just going to be how the, like they did with CVS2? You have meet certain conditions and you fight the SNK character. Meet certain conditions, you fight the Capcom character. Or... Will they take uh, an approach like a fusion character, like they did in DC um, Mortal Kombat Universe, where they had Thanos and Dark Side into the Thanos side, or well, I forget what his name was, but a fusion character that would be pretty interesting. So that's something that I'm looking forward to, and you know, as and, and it's looking like the story, the game is going to be story driven, and. Considering how Ono-san kind of gave that 
to Ed Boon and uh, NetherRealm uh, Studios for how they unfolded the story of Mortal Kombat uh, reboot or Mortal Kombat 9. Story is very important. And, it, it, you know, for me it is. But overall, you know, if, if I know Capcom hasn't had the best uh, outing with keeping their stories intact, like bringing people back from the dead and, oh, yeah, you're dead, but, oh, yeah, you can come back. It, with Street Fighter Cross Tech, can some, they, they can start anew, get this right. Very, I, I would love to see a very heavy emphasis on the story with the, the, the evil Ryu, Akuma, the devil Gene, Kazuya, Jin, the Hihachi. I, I want to see something, you know, um, elaborated on in terms of uh, this aspect. So, this is just part one. Part two, we're going to have everybody here. I just wanted to do like a little touch up on uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. So, let me know what your thoughts are. It's good to be back, guys. We'll see you next time on the NMO Mini Short. This is Alex Lexis. Peace.